Courtship and Marriage of Korea In this presentation, we will go over the typical dating, marriage, and family cycles of those living in Korea. Korean dating is a lot of the time set up through blind dating. Potential partners are most often introduced through mutual friends or through instances such as work or socializing. Committed relationships are really the only type of relationship you're going to see in Korea as open dating isn't common. With parental consent, Korean citizens are able to get married once they reach the age of 18. However, the true legal age for marriage in Korea is 20. Despite this young age of allowance, most Koreans still do not end up getting married until they are well into their 30s. Like in America, marriage in Korea is civil, meaning it takes documents to be considered legally married. Koreans are required to bring their affidavit of eligibility of marriage along with other documents to officially register their marriage to their local district office. Korean weddings themselves are known to be quick and very traditional. You can expect bright colors, celebrations, gifts, blessings, and up to 500 guests. Weddings are very special in Korea as they are seen as a unification of two families. When it comes to clothing, each couple will choose their attire differently. Those who take the traditional route can be seen with the bride in red and the groom in blue representing a yin and yang. However, some couples choose to wear white, whether that be traditional or non-traditional dress. One Korean wedding tradition, the kirogi, is when a goose is presented to the mother-in-law of the groom to represent his devotion to her daughter. Another tradition, the payback, is when offerings are gifted to the bride that the groom and bride will later pass out to family houses. Some food you can expect to see at Korean weddings may include samgitang, japchae, galbi, and for dessert, dok, a sticky rice cake is common which is usually decorated and adorned in wedding style decorations. In addition, the food of the wedding is usually prepared by someone the bride and groom know. For some marriages, Korean dowry still exists. Dowries are in place as a form of compensation to the husband for him taking care of his wife for the rest of her life. The wives are often expected to prepare gifts for the husband's family and decorate the home. A lot of the time, Koreans will have arranged marriages, which is seen as a traditional way of marriage. Surprisingly, some couples will have an arranged marriage not for the traditional aspect, but instead because they are too socially awkward to seek out their own partner. Traditional Korean gender roles show men as breadwinners and women as homemakers. Although women in Korea are working more now than ever, these harsh gender roles still persist. There is even a term, jib saram, meaning home person, which is used interchangeably with the term wife. Family expectations in Korea follow patriarchal patterns. Korean children are seen as in debt to their parents and have multiple expectations over their lives to make up to them. Educational expectations for Korean children are also quite high. Continuing, family roles are as followed. The father is expected to be kind and dominant towards his wife, who is then expected to be obedient and loving in return. As head of household, the father is responsible for the entire family and sets expectations. Korean grandparents are very involved in both their children and grandchildren's lives. Korean grandmothers are the number one source of childcare throughout Korea. In addition, both sets of grandparents will serve as mentors for their grandchildren throughout their entire lives. In Korea's history, divorce was frowned upon and very uncommon. Traditionally, only men were allowed to suggest divorce and women were looked down upon afterwards. However, times have changed and now Korea is one of the leading countries in divorce rates. 
Although remarriage doesn't go along with Korea's traditional ways, it is very common throughout the country. Traditionally, widows were not allowed to be remarried at all, and it was quite difficult for women to be remarried altogether. Now, society is much more open to remarriage in Korea.